Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. And while it is certainly chilly, at least that real frigid air has eased up. We're actually getting back to normal where we should be as far as, uh, well, early February temperatures. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, clear skies, a bone dry atmosphere, and certainly no precipitation to be found. We're scanning the skies in real time. We don't see anything locally. Radar beams sweeping by, looking for targets of uh, either snowflakes or raindrops, and certainly nothing out there. So not as frigid for this week as temperatures are going to be running near or just slightly below normal. Groundhog Day tomorrow. No shadow means winter ends soon. If he sees the shadow, it means six more weeks of winter. Be curious to see what happens in Pennsylvania tomorrow morning. Looks like a midweek weather system. I prefer to call it a system rather than a storm, but that is something we'll keep an eye on. Take a look. A little bit of a reddish glow on the western horizon, as mentioned earlier, now setting the sun now during the 5 o'clock hour, 5.02. Compare that to 4.13 back in late December. So heading in the right direction. 32 outside. There's a bit of a wind, so it does feel a little colder. Wind chills at 23. Humidity is very dry, 37%. So you got the chapped lips of the dry skin. Of course, the lack of moisture in the air not helping. Most locations now are neighborhood weather sites indicating temperatures in the upper 20s to low 30s. North Bay Manor and Smithfield 31. South Bay Manor, South Kingstown at 29. East Greenwich now coming in at 33. And Johnston 31. Other temperatures across southern New England are very similar. Either side of the freezing mark, Newport now at 32. Satellite radar composites show pretty quiet across New England. Some lake effect snow showers in upstate New York. That real bitter air shaded in white and purple has retreated back up into southeastern Canada. So temperatures have moderated somewhat. So again, it's closer to normal for this time of year. This is our next system across the, well, the upper Midwest and the Northern Plains. It's weak. It will head here actually tomorrow night into Wednesday with some extra clouds. A little bit of light snow, but at this point, it doesn't look too serious. For this evening, uh, the winds will diminish. 11 o'clock, we are clear at 27. We'll see some high clouds stream in during the overnight hours. By 5 o'clock in the morning, it does drop down to 21. So a, a hazy sunshine to start the day at the bus stop between 7 and 8.30 in the morning tomorrow between 20 and 25. And then we'll take note of some extra clouds streaming in mid to late afternoon, becoming mostly cloudy later in the day. Temperatures topping out around, say, 33, 34, which, again, is close to normal for this time of year. The winds are light and variable, so the wind not as gusty as it was today. And most spots are going to come in somewhere between, say, 32 and 34. It'll be sort of a milky sunshine through increasing clouds, but at least it will stay dry. Then there's that system coming through for Wednesday. It looks like just some light snow showers and flurries. Shouldn't be anything too serious. That's reflected on the seven-day future cast, 34 on Wednesday. Sunshine for both Thursday and Friday. Turning colder over the weekend. We'll watch an offshore storm on, on Saturday evening, Saturday night. Maybe grazes with some light snow. Temperatures over the weekend, though, only in the uh, upper 20s. But at least in the near term, we don't see any big, big storms, despite a couple of snow showers on Wednesday. WPRI.com to get your seven-day future cast. I'll walk out tomorrow morning. If I see my shadow, I'll just go right back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> you got to okay. do that anyway. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Coming up on I